Hello everybody! If you're watching this, then Editor Chan deemed that this video needed the following content warning. For your convenience, a red light will flash somewhere on the screen during the scene in which the content warning is issued for. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hello everybody, this is Sarah Scopic and you're watching a Let's Play of Kathy Rain, where we just had to deal with our guilt of having an abortion and facing a ghost lady. For some reason. I don't know. This is a fleeting moment, but I've seen what comes ahead. Yeah? Who are you? <laughs> Good question. The dweller in the lake. The conduit. Was this some Lady in the Lake weirdness? Am I gonna have King Arthur here? Do I get to wield a sword? Lily? I feel like I know her, but something cracks inside. So you are or you aren't her? I don't understand any of this. What do you want from me? Also, can I get that key? Seems important. Only what you want from yourself. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, is this some weird I need to forgive myself thing? Because we'll come out of here. <laughs> we are nearing the end. He is ready to see you now. Who's he? Who is? You know who. Grandpa? Kathy. Can I pick up the key now? Pick it up. Take the key! Alright. Let's go. <laughs> oh, the gears. Did the gear stop moving? Oh, there's no more static either. Wait, 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 wait. Come back here. No, Kathy, no. Stay here. Stay here. There's a painting now. There's no more static. Okay, good. I, you didn't notice anything else weird. Alright, good to know. Anyway, go down to the first floor and we're gonna unlock the final door. I always said, like, something major is gonna happen whenever you walk through these doors. Like, something crazy. I just didn't think I'd be going into crazy hell land to have to confront my past and, you know, open a door. That way. Let's go. <gasps> Who lies beyond? Well, that was severely anticlimactic. But what am I supposed to do? Okay, now what to do with the actual chain? Uh, you just on the door? Uh, oh, oh, I think I understand now. And then, yeah, here we go. Go up to three, I guess. Oh, 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 I didn't notice that they were broken, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't see that. I thought, I didn't realize they were two separate chains. Okay. There we go. There All we right. go. Alright, we should be good to go. Now we make this elevator go up. Kerchunk! Ah. I'm seeing myself, I guess. Hello. Hi, you. Me. You have ruined everything! Yeah, what I do. Why do you hate us so much? What did we ever do to you? It is us. This mirror mirror routine is getting tiring. <laughs> this mirror mirror routine is getting tiring. <laughs> and I'm not afraid anymore. I see you for what you are. You're the ugliness inside of me. You are nothing but a fearful little child and there is nowhere left for you to hide. Yep. Now get the hell out of my way. Oh. No! Oh. You look like <laughs> Literally. No, I'm the original. I am. This can't be happening. Oh no, don't give me some weirdness on this. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be really lost in a second. No. I just rode the elevator up. I'm speechless. That's a first. <clears throat> Alright, let's go in the living room and- Grandpa! No. It can't be. Grandpa! It's so good to see you, Kathy. Hey, man. What's up? This is getting... Is it really you? You've been here for all this time? It hasn't been that long from my point of view. Oh, because you're dead. You look exactly the same. You haven't aged at all. Mm -mm. But how is this even possible? You're, you're dead. We buried you. You don't have to worry about that now, uh... Kathy. I've missed Aww. you, Grandpa. I wanted to come back so many times. Aww. I know you did. I've been watching you every step of the way. Perhaps now is the time I tell you that I put security cameras in everywhere you go. <laughs> hmm. I found out how you tried to get me back from mom and everything. Yeah. I just wanted you to be safe. I wanted what's best for you. 
Yeah, but aren't you also- Like, I've been hearing differing stories about how you also may not be a good guy, so I'm a little nervous. Can I get you out of here somehow? I don't know how all this works. I'm afraid that's not possible. I chose to remain here. So we could meet one last time. Yeah? But I just got you back. I can't bear to lose you again. <sighs> you don't need me, Kathy. You never did. You're stronger than you'll yeah. ever know. I'm so proud of the woman that yeah. you've become. This this is so unfair. This fucking sucks. Yeah, it's one way to put it. I know, darling. I know. But why are you here then? Is it just another test? No, the tests are over, Kathy. I'm breaking all the rules just by being here. Yeah. Oh, hello, Lady Blake. It's so hard to make this happen. You can end the cycle, stop the suffering. What suffering from what? This whole place needs to be ripped away, separated. Okay. That red fiend has no intention of letting your friend go. The only way to save her is to destroy this place. <sighs> okay, let me get this straight. Crimson One is the one in charge of doing all of this. He's kind of evil, and so people have been trying to find him, and, you know, the, the church has been, like, serving him. Other people have been trying to destroy him. Okay. I think I got that part. But then, so my grandpa then was like, okay, I'm going to use this place so I can see the daughter one last time, but I still got to destroy it, and I guess I imagine when I destroy the place, he'll be going with it, so that's the big sacrifice, but it's in order to save Eileen. Did I get all this straight? <sighs> what do I have to do? You have to finish what I started. Ascend. Let on fire, them baby. All. Yes, the red ones above feed this place. Make them lick the flames. He said that, didn't he? Right. Hurry now before he sees. So us. who are you? Oh, you're a ghost now too. Creepy. Wait, don't go. That was it. I need to go back up. I need to get out of here. And apparently, burned to the ground. Yeah, I thought I kept seeing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> like I keep seeing something. But uh, TV. Dog fighting. That's a little weird. Anyway, let's get out of here. We got things to do. Places, people to see. <laughs> get out the escalator. I don't want to be here anymore. This is weird. So why'd the Redman then let me go down there? If he knows I'm going to burn him to the ground. Okay. Ugh, my head. It's like the worst hangover ever. Yeah. I need to stay focused. Burn them all, Kathy. Burn them all. This seems highly unnecessary. Okay, apparently I need to use my Zippo lighter. I thought you said to burn it all. <laughs> okay, flowers? I feel like this is gonna be actually a horrible idea. Why am I burning the flowers? Everyone's gonna hallucinate. Do I use a stuck gun? I'm just trying things, sweetheart. Paint thinner, maybe? Okay, that did work. That should be enough. Okay, now we light it on fire? Isn't this just gonna make the whole place smoke? You're starting a forest fire! Can I get out of here? Can I... No, this is my only decision? Okay, apparently I'm just gonna burn an endangered, like, flower behind simply because it does a weird hallucinogenic drug. This is a forest fire! I just literally started a forest fire! This... Oh. I mean, I did start a forest fire? Major forest fire raging in Conwell but I guess Woods. at least I leaned fine. The cause fine. of the blaze has yet to be determined. Okay. But the latest reports say that the fire has been successfully oh, thank contained. Goodness. Largely thanks to the local lake, which provided ample water. <laughs> That's true, I guess. Oh, good. Oh, thank I was goodness really you're hoping right. it, we were gonna have a Veronica uh, Sawyer moment from the Heather's, where she's just all burned. They're like, "You look like hell," and she's like, "I just got back," because <laughs> that would have been perfect. You're back. We were worried about you. <laughs> I was worried oh, about thank you. Thank God, it actually worked. Are you okay, E? 
I think so, but I feel a bit different. Yeah? Yeah? You were out for a long time. Do you remember anything? I think Isaac drugged me. I started feeling dizzy and weak. He carried me into the yeah? woods. I remember hearing the wind in the leaves and the biting cold. There was a weird, sharp smell in the air, too. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure flowers. what happened next. Things are a bit blurry, but I had a strange dream with a shimmering girl watching over me. It felt yeah. like she kept me safe somehow. Then I woke up on this couch. Mm, some lady in the lake or lily or something. It must have been your guardian angel. Sure. <laughs> I think so, too. We'll put it that way. Well, I'm glad you're okay, E. Things looked scary there for a bit. Yeah, Mary Elizabeth told me what happened, how you found me and got Isaac arrested. Yeah, my grandma can't remember. Yes, about that poor man. Uh, the sheriff called. Something happened while you were away. Yeah, and he burned to ashes too, like the Wicked Witch of the West. Because that would be hilarious. <laughs> oh. Um. Didn't burn, just kind of. Welcome home, son. Oh, gosh! Oh, that's really dark and creepy. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I don't like that at all. Okay. Guess he finally grew a conscience. Uh -huh. I can't help but feel bad for him, despite what he did to me. In a way, he was a victim too. That's one way to put it, I guess. At least we stopped him from hurting any more people. Yeah. That's one way to put it. But who was the... Oh, jeez. became a crime so, scene? I guess this really is goodbye. Yeah. A stupid part of me thought that if I would find the truth, I could be close to him again. Yeah... It's not stupid. We all look for love in the strangest of places. It's an inseparable part of human nature. Yeah. Jeez, when did you become so philosophical-y? Uh, always. I told you. I feel different. <laughs> yeah, me too. Do you think any of it was real? Excellent question, E. I don't know, E, but I hope we manage to stop it once and for all. Yeah. You know, despite everything, I think we made a half decent team. Yeah. Really? You do? Yeah. Well, except for the part where you got yourself kidnapped. <laughs> and I had to save your life, but it's fine. Try not to do that next time, okay? Huh. Wait, there will be a next time? Maybe. Maybe. And that's it. That's the end. Wow, that was... Oh, man. Wow, that was weird. Interesting game. Not that my review of it really matters, but I imagine you guys are all probably wondering what I thought of it. Um, for a point-and-click adventure, this was very good. Um, most of the puzzles actually made sense. There weren't that many, like really ridiculous puzzles. Um, I think they did a really good job of like trying to make it make semi sense of the jumps you would make. A couple of it was kind of, um, you know, uh, point and click game logic, uh, especially the red flower thing. Like that was very much just a moment where I was like, I wonder, but also I have to mention voice acting, phenomenal, phenomenal voice acting. I did not feel any of it Personally, I never felt any of it was unbelievable. I thought that they uh, they did a very good job in, in those things. Um, but, uh, uh, sorry, I'm just thinking. Sorry, and also there's a plane overhead. I don't know if you can hear it. But yeah, um, so the voice acting was good. Love the art, the old 90s point-and-click art. Um, and like I said, the logic between the puzzles, most of it was quite good. I only had to look up um, the walkthrough twice. I did once here, and then I think I did one earlier. I'm not sure if I told you guys. I forget which puzzle it was, but I know I did once before. But otherwise, I was able to actually figure them out. Nightmare monster. I was actually able to, um, you know, figure out point, you know, A to B, what I was supposed to be doing, which uh, was which is pretty great. Um, I wouldn't say it was necessarily too easy. Um, maybe that's just me. I, I felt most of the puzzles actually made sense. I really liked some of the other puzzles that and the way they did it. Like, I especially really liked how with the, the graveyard, um, how they just put them side by side instead of you having to, like, get your own paper and pencil and, like, write it out yourself. They actually, like, tried to help you out with that because I would have never solved that otherwise. 
so when you do each piece by piece. I thought it was really nice how they kind of tried to get you to do the logic of it. Because one of the hardest parts of point click adventures is you have to understand the logic of what they want you to solve. And that can be really, really difficult if you don't know what the logic they're using, you know, if you can't get in their heads. So I really liked how, um, you know, they really tried to help you out and like, this is the kind of logic you should be following. Now it wasn't, uh, it wasn't perfect, but it was, it was definitely well done there. So the story, um, I have pretty mixed feelings on the story. I think I was, I think if I had done this in a short amount of time, I think I would have gotten better in the story. I think, unfortunately, the big breaks I had done in between is what did it in for me. So I couldn't really, even though I knew what was happening, I couldn't feel it as much, if that makes any sense. So like, when she's confronting her, her you know, unborn child, when she's confronting, you know, her mom and her dad. What? He ain't dead yet. He's not dead. Fantastic. He's not actually dead. <laughs> Darn you! Um, but anyway, uh, so I think that part was hard because I could not really, like, feel it as much. And I think it was also, and so unfortunately as a result, it kind of led to me not seeing Kathy's growth as well because what I saw was someone who was very just like, her -ner -ner -ner, and then suddenly started crying, even though if I had kind of seen it from beginning to end, I would have probably seen a more natural progression. I just didn't notice it as much. Um... It's hard when you separate things because you don't under you don't remember where someone started and, and their, their character growth and such. And so unfortunately, because of that, I think I didn't quite get the emotional impact that I was supposed to. Um, but they did deal with some pretty heavy, you know, matters and, and in some interesting ways. I'm still kind of confused about what the whole crimson one was and like that whole thing. I I kind of felt like I'm still a little unsure of the whole dynamic there. It seemed it didn't seem thrown in because it wasn't thrown in. They give you hints, you know, through the dreams and stuff like that. But it still was a little kind of weird to me. I think there may have been some better ways they could have really tried to get you the sense that, you know, something else is going on here because I really didn't for a very long time, up until literally probably the last, like, hour of this game, I still thought we were dealing with, like, hallucinations in the real world kind of thing. I didn't realize that this was all supposed to be kind of fantastical. If they had maybe given a bit more of evidence that's meant to be a bit more fantastical instead of just, like, oh, you know, wh whatever, um, that may have been easier. Because I think you even heard, I was like, okay, never mind, this is supposed to be real, got it. You know, I didn't quite get that part, so... Um, I think it's hard because they, they mention mental health things, and I'm a mental health professional, and I know things about schizophrenia and, and the like. Um, and unfortunately, I was like, oh, okay, so this is obviously all in their heads, but it's not. <laughs> so that's why, especially since they try to be like, you know, Lily, they try to base, basically make it very obvious to you that, no, Lily had depression, but she also did this because of other reasons, too. So there's just a lot of interesting things. Um, I think this is the only ending you can get. I might still see. Um, I don't think it matters if you do different choices elsewhere, but if that's not right, then you can let me know. But I'm pretty sure this is it. It's the game. It was great, though. I would love to see a sequel. Um, it, obviously, they, they are meant this to be a series because it's called A Detective is Born. So it's supposed to be like, this is how she, you know, okay, she's a detective. Um, I'm just going to be curious to see if it's going to be more like supernatural kind of stuff. That was, that's the words. I said fantastical. I meant supernatural, but... I just really enjoyed it. Um, finally got to finish it. I feel like I can move on with other games. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts about it, um, go ahead and put in the comments below. I love seeing everyone's comments. I try to answer your comments um, when I can, so uh, just go ahead and, and do that. And yeah, I gotta find a new game to play, guys, which won't be hard. I have a lot of games. Alright, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And remember, peace, joy, love, and coin. Bye.